Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to order remote data recovery from your RAID system. Every day, thousands of users across the globe spend their precious time looking for tools that will bring their lost data back. They are trying to recover it by themselves, they are looking for specialized service shops dealing with data recovery, and so on. You can try and save your time by ordering a remote data recovery service instead of reading long manuals or searching for this kind of service in your neighborhood. Thanks to recent advances in remote control technology, it is quite possible now. Yet, before you order this kind of service, you will have to spend some time to prepare and configure your storage system for recovery, since recovery operations cannot be performed without these preparations. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The first thing you should do is to take the disks out of the device and connect them to a Windows computer, where you have already installed Hetman RAID Recovery. If your device is a specialized NAS system, just take out the tray with the hard disks. If this is a PC or server, disconnect the disks from the power supply unit and the motherboard Remove the screws that fix the disk to the case and take the disks out If the hard disks are connected to a controller, disconnect the data cable and connect it to the SATA port of your motherboard instead. For RAID arrays built in Linux or macOS, you can use a virtual machine. Check the link to watch a detailed video tutorial on this topic. Before taking the hard disks out of the case, you should find out how many disks make up your array and check if you have enough SATA ports on the motherboard of the computer where you are going to connect the hard disks and if there is a sufficient number of power connectors, and even if it has enough power to work with all those HDDs. This is what a SATA port looks like, and here is a picture of a power connector. The number is limited by specifications of the motherboard and the power supply unit. If there are more hard disks than ports, you can temporarily disconnect a DVD drive or another device which is not required for the recovery process. If this doesn't help and you still lack SATA ports, you can use a SATA expansion card. There are many models available on the market and they mostly differ by the number of ports they provide. To connect an expansion card, insert it into the PCI Express slot on the motherboard. If you have less power connectors than necessary, there are all kinds of adapters and splitters. For example, this type of splitter lets you turn a single Molex connector into four or five SATA power connectors. A single hard disk doesn't consume much power. Even at full load it's under 20 W, depending on the disk capacity. So an ordinary 400 W or 500 W PSU should be enough for 10 hard disks. If there is one more PC nearby, you can use it to supply power to some of the hard disks. This is a suitable solution if you don't have any splitters at hand or if the first computer's power supply unit is too weak to provide power for all your HDDs. This way, the hard disks are connected to the motherboard of the first PC, but they receive power from the other one. Before proceeding to the next stage, make sure that everything is connected correctly. Start by turning your PC on and checking if it can detect all the hard disks you have connected to it. Open the Disk Management app, right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. If all your connections are OK, all the hard disks should appear in this window. The next stage is configuring your computer for remote administration. To arrange remote data recovery from RAID, you need to install TeamViewer. This utility lets users control another computer remotely, that is, over the Internet. Visit the program's official website and download its free version. 
launch the downloaded file to start the installation. Check the option for default installation and then click Accept – Next. Wait until the installation is complete and in the next window choose how you want to use TeamViewer for personal use and click Accept – Finish. That's the end of the installation process. Find the program's shortcut on the desktop and launch it. To allow a specialist to manage your PC, share your ID password. After you have taken all these steps, your computer and storage system are ready for the remote process of recovering the lost data. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.